So there's a family in Athens, Georgia, whose story is a real-life version of Mark's movie, Instant Family. Earlier this year, a video went viral of the mom and dad telling their foster daughter that she was being adopted. Look at this. All right, well, there's one more gift. We have one more It's gift. not from Grammy, but it's, yeah, it's um, another gift. I'm going to be adopted? <laughs> we love you, sweetheart. We'll always be your parents. I love you so much. I love you. <laughs> Please welcome Paige, Daniel, and Ivy. This no. is Mark Wahlberg. <laughs> <laughs> There's Mark right there. Yeah, <laughs> it's crazy because this is really the story. You heard about the movie, obviously. You you can't wait to see it. I'm sure. Oh yes. yes. Yeah, we were like, this sounds familiar. Yeah, <laughs> yeah. Okay, so and it's not just Ivy. You adopted her siblings as well. So how long ago? How did this start? How long have you been a part of their family? Yeah. Yeah. Uh, <laughs> you don't have to answer the question. Yeah. So we. Um, we knew we um, were wanted to grow our family through adoption of some kind, but we had never ever considered foster care. We kind of had the approach that many people do that, oh, I would get way too attached, my heart would be broken, you know, um, but then we had the chance to actually talk with someone who fostered and they really challenged us on that. They said, you know, um, you know, we're adults and we're the most equipped to deal with heartache, not children. And that kind of started us on the path to fostering. Yeah, and then immediately when we got back home, we started looking into it, started doing some training. And uh, at that time, we heard some staggering statistics. In our area, there were over 250 kids in foster care, and there were only 11 homes that were open. Wow. Um, so that blew our minds, and we thought, well, we don't feel ready to be parents, but we're better than, you know, nothing. <laughs> and did you know you were gonna adopt her from the start? Well, when our home opened up, we got a call about a little African-American boy, baby. His name was, our, his name was Kai. Um, he's our, he's our, young, our middle son. And uh, <laughs> so, yeah, we, we were just um, head over heels for, for Kai, but we also found out at that time about Ivy, and she was in a foster home. Um, you know, down the road, so we started getting them together. And then shortly after that, we learned about Lita. Uh, well, the birth mom was pregnant with, with uh, Lita, and so Paige yeah. at that moment. <laughs> so we got a call from the hospital, would we take Lita? And I said yes, but I didn't ask Daniel. Yeah. I just kind of said yes. Yeah. Right. <laughs> yeah. Right. I knew he would say yes anyway. So we were just had the two babies for a while and loved Ivy, but we weren't sure that, what direction the case was going to go. Um, but then when it started to go towards adoption, um, they asked if we would adopt all three. And of course, we were like, yes, yes. we love them. <laughs> yeah. And so, yeah. <laughs> so. Now, OK, here's in the, the, the little boy is Kai? Yes. yes. OK, so I heard that you, you go through training to be a foster parent. You finished your training on a Friday. And on Monday, you got the call for him. Mm -hmm. yes. So you had to like go out and get everything? Like you had to get diapers and a bed and ev everything? Did you have anything? Uh, well, we, the good thing that we did have is at our church, they put a, a support team around us, actually. So we had you know, people who were uh, dropping by that night with diapers and toys and things like that. So, wow. But yeah. yeah, we did not have, uh, we, we had no experience, I'll tell you yeah. that. So. <laughs> yeah. It is instant family, it's yeah. a movie. Yeah. All right, uh, so uh, Mark is not just here to listen to me talk to you. Mark has uh, um, something to say. Oh, yes. Well, on behalf of the movie Instant Family, we would love to donate a check to you guys for $25,000. <laughs> yeah, oh, my God. <laughs> oh, my God. Oh, my God. Yeah, yeah, more than Mark, checks, man. <laughs> Mark was just saying, uh, this is going to inspire so many people to do this. I mean, there are so many kids just that, that need a foster family, um, but adoption is just so important, too, because there's a lot of children out there that need homes and, um, you know, I mean, just look at the joy that, that you get to experience every single day on her face. It's just, <laughs> and she's, she's saying she feels so lucky because y'all are such good parents, so. Oh, we're the lucky ones. <laughs> yeah, really great. Okay, so um, the last time Mark was here, we filmed a commercial for his car dealership in Columbus, Ohio, which I was, I was responsible for a lot of sales. And uh, it went so well that we thought we would do another one and uh, we would put you as part of it. This, this gets a lot of pickup, so it'll help people, you know, go buy cars from him. All right, so let's go over here. Thank and, you, guys. Uh, <laughs> oh, 
Oh, yeah. <laughs> All right, y'all are going to get in. We're going to get in the car, and we're going to be here. Where are we? We're up there, and then you got jackets. All right. We try to both get in this window at the same time. Okay, okay. okay. We want to sell the family experience here. This is yeah. a family car. It's really responsible to show a child driving, Mark. <laughs> All right. Burr. Do you feel, Burr, do you feel that chill in the air, Mark? I sure do, Ellen. We need some more energy out of you, though. We're going to sell some cars. There's snow on the ground and bourbon in my mug. So that can only mean one thing. It's cold here in central Ohio. Then you and I should heat things up around here, Ellen. You're right. Let's look at this shirtless photo of you. <laughs> and we can tell the good people of Ohio all about the hot deals at Mark Wahlberg Chevrolet. Take that down now. <laughs> all right. You. You're not gonna believe these prices, folks. I haven't energy, seen numbers. Energy. I haven't seen numbers like this since my body fat percentage in this picture here. <laughs> <laughs> Listen here, folks. We have to get every one of these cars a new home by Christmas Eve. And here's the good news: we've only got the percent perfect car for everyone here. There's. <laughs> Keep drinking the bourbon. I'll handle the rest of it. Everybody on your holiday list. Now, there's something for your jealous sister. Your cousin Linda and her roommate Shelly. Wow. <laughs> and don't forget mom and dad who are going to need some more space now that they've adopted three amazing kids. Look at this family right here sitting in this pretty brand new 2019 Chevy Trax. Now, folks. <laughs> Like I say to my wife, give me one honk if you like it and two honks if you love it. Hard, hard. <laughs> <laughs> Sounds like they love it. <laughs> so come on down to Mark Wahlberg Chevrolet. Located at 3900 Broad Street in Columbus, Ohio. Where our motto is, if you pass the Chuck E. Cheese, you've gone too far. <laughs> <laughs> All right, come on out. Thanks for helping us make that commercial. All right. That was awesome. So you like the car? Love the car. Well, I happen to see the car that you're driving at home, so we figured you need a brand new car, so this is your brand new car. Hey, you run it now, you can drive it. Thank you, Ellen. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Merry Christmas. Thank you so much. Merry Christmas. Look at this. Oh, 